Ciao everyone from Chile Milan. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're stepping into the amazing world of Italian vintage and antiques at the Bergamo Antique Fair. I'm Tammy and this is Italian Vintage Bliss Bergamo Antique Fair Highlights. Francesco and I are taking you inside the antique fair that's a treasure trove of history and culture. Our first stop brings us into the heart of the fair where the indoor stalls showcase an exquisite collection of vintage finds. From elegant furniture to delicate ceramics, each and every piece has a unique charm and history. Sounds like Harry Potter. It's so beautiful. Secondo me, non sono sicuro al 100%, però per me era un portafiori. Siamo nella seconda metà dell'800. Second part of the 80. 1800s. Okay, and when you didn't have flowers, you just put the lot, the top on. Oh, it's beautiful. I've never seen one. I was. It's an hypothesis. We don't know exactly. Okay, I was wondering why there would be a painting on the top because you can't put any. Quando non c'erano i fiori, poi li lasciavano chiuso. Si domandava perché c'era sopra questo. Quel dipinto sopra. Bellissima. Che il prezzo di questo? 4,50. 4,50. Bellissima. Bellissima. È particolare. Grazie. Next, we visited with Antichita A.M. Marcelli di Luigi Minelli. And you won't even believe what is in their stall. This is a building from Venice. Venice. Sì, questo palazzo sì. è stato comprato dai fratelli Tiepolo. Questo building è stato da Tiepolo Brothers. Ho capito. Sì. Il Settecento viene decorato il secondo piano da Gian Domenico Tiepolo e realizzò questo menuetto di Gian Battista Tiepolo. Questo poi adesso è stato venduto e cioè hanno fatto un grande albergo. Ah, ah ok. È molto importante, non è che era fatto per, per come la, portantina? No, era, forse era per la, 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 le gondole. Ah, was made for gondole. Wow. That's why the shape of the... It's very special. The, the leg of the chair. Sì, sì. It's made for gondole and it's very sì. shape uh, with eh. gold. Just look at these stunning Italian antiques. The craftsmanship is truly remarkable. It's like taking a step back in time, right from the comfort of this fair. Settecento, okay. Also that one, Settecento, 700. Tutti bellissimi. This is from Firenze, 35,000. We had the chance to speak with the owner of Di Porto Gioielleria. I hope I said that right. He's a passionate antique enthusiast and seller who is here all the way from Rome. Let's hear about all the fantastic items he has today which is a lot more than just jewelry. Diamond specialist, they have three diamonds. Tre diamanti. E il prezzo di questo? 25.000 euro. 25.000 euro. Fantastica. 
Vienna. Sì. Perché questo è 700. Sì. Questo che è 800 costa 14. 14 mila? Sì. Ok. Wow. Tutti bellissimi. Scusi, di che, di che anno è questo magnifico set da tua? 1790-1810 dovrebbe Around essere 1700, that's wow. very cool. Yes. Questo qui è una cosa fantastica, per esempio. Questi due che Are sono 1680. That is from 1680. Beautiful. Sì. E una, una, questa... This is amazing, I love this. Sì. From Vienna. Sì, quella è Vienna. I love this. E queste due, sì. perché e sono, Roma, sono Roma 700 queste was qua, e sono, sono perché la, la famosa botticella romana dove mettevano il And vino, sa, le bottiglie. La famosa botte dove il wine era inside. That is amazing, that is the wave. The, sì, onde uh, il lavoro e i dettagli. Sono fantastici. That is di Porto. Sì. It's a wonderful name of a sailor. Diamanti, argento e oro. Sì. Quanto tempo per tenere? This is a whip for a eh, no, oggi horse siamo venuti rider. da Milano a Fernando. Sì, perché ma è... No, non lo Cufflinks of Boucheron. Francesco likes this quite a bit. This is Bulgari ring is the apple of New York. Our next seller is Alessandro Macri, who specializes in liberty and art deco, and he's here from Torino. If you love Art Nouveau and Art Deco like we do, you will be mesmerized by his collection. We couldn't even believe it. We didn't know Galle made furniture. Well, it's a wonderful match. Caspita, bisogna bisogna amarlo per avere così tante meraviglie sue. <laughs> Torino Art Nouveau. What ship? There's a ship? Of course, if there's a ship. Oh, it's Venice? This is for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Piazza San Marco. That's a nice Beautiful. present, huh? <laughs> the gondola. Beautiful. And the Barcavelle. Can you open it? I can try to open it. Oh, so sorry. Beautiful. Lady Jane, maybe. <laughs> Beautiful. Lady Jane. She's not Lady Jane. Lady Maria, no. We cannot forget the stunning pieces at Bonanomi Antiquariato. Just take a look for yourself. This is a 44 coins to keep the coins inside. Casa Forte? Florence. From Florence. And it's a band of 1500. Can we. Dentro? If possible? Oh, it's inside. C'è il movimento qua, tac, che si sblocca. Ah, sì. Ah, uh. Sono tre cassette. Fantastico. Uh. Da una parte. From, uh, oh. From the two sides. Now we know. E poi si blocca, tac. 
Fantastic. E poi questo è un tutti capiti. Ok. Bellissimo. The wonderful atelier shop is in Montalvo, that is a wonderful village to visit in Piemonte, in the province of Asti. Perfect. Very famous for wine also. Oh yeah. For furniture because This one is the band of uh, 1,700. Parigi. There is something for everyone here. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just someone looking for a unique piece to add to your home, the fair truly caters to all tastes. It's been a day filled with history, culture, and the joy of discovering hidden treasures all within the charming walls of this unique fair. Now, no Italian experience is complete without enjoying a coffee. We enjoyed a wonderful drink known as a marocchino. It is espresso with milk and a little bit of chocolate. These were so good. Thank you so much for joining us on this adventure of Italian vintage bliss and seeing all of the incredible items at the Bergamo Antique Fair. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll love this one even more. As always, seller details are listed in the description box just below this video so you can easily find them too. Until next time, arrivederci!